welcome to my channel. My name is Kaylin. If you are new, thank you for coming. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have been on my channel before and checked out my videos, welcome back. At this point, we are besties. <laughs> Today, I'm just going to dive right in and we're going to talk about if you're wanting to start a courier business or if you want to just do it as simply a side hustle. I do it as a side hustle. My husband has been in a courier business for over 10 years. He does it as a business. I do it under my name. He does it under his business. And so I'll go over the two sides of how to be a part of the courier business itself. So let's dive right in. Make sure you stay tuned to the entire video. So the first things first, you want to name your business. Um, that's that's obvious <laughs> we don't need to go into all of that but the next thing you want to do is get you an ein and you can go on the irs website this is something free that you can get done and that's just going to irs.gov you can put in a search bar ein and it'll bring you up to the particular page for you to fill out the applications to get your ein and you get it immediately if you want me to go more into details about it, I'll be more than happy to. Just drop a comment below and I'll show you how to do it step by step. Next, you want to register your business with the state. Each state is different. Um, you'll just go to your state, um, Secretary of State, and you will go ahead and register your business. Again, this is something that I can show you how you can do this step by step and you can just put it in the comments if that's something that you want me to show you how to do. You want to have an unexpired license. This is super important because you can't be on a road job with an expired license and you can't just have a state ID. You got to have it, a, a license that's unexpired. Next, you want to have your MC DOT number. You need to have this. Sometimes you need to have both. Other times you need to have either or, but it's good to get both. Now, getting it can cost a little money, so this is why we are referring to this in the business part if you're wanting to have a, your own company. Next, you wanna get your insurance. It's super important that you get your insurance. Each company, depending on where you're trying to get your contracts with, it depends on um, how much insurance they want you to get. I believe it's a million dollars insurance, but I'm, I can verify that with, um, with you in the comments. Next, you want to choose the right vehicle to start your courier service, whether that's a car, SUV, cargo van, truck, or box truck. And you guys, I'm reading from my phone. These are, these are my notes. So <laughs> that's what I'm looking down at. I get super clustered in my mind and I forget a lot of things. So I have to make sure that I'm reading it. So you want to have, a, like I said, a cargo um, van, truck, SUV, car, box truck, whatever vehicle. Now, what I do know is that, um, just a disclaimer, if you do have um, a luxury car, they some companies are very particular about having you as their um, courier because they are not sure if you're going to be in there in the long run just because of the wear and tear and that could just be our experience but sometimes red flags go up if you have a luxury vehicle and i say that because we have a luxury vehicle well i have a luxury vehicle and when i tell them that i want to do courier work they are like are you sure because you know it's a lot of wear and tear that can go on your vehicle so that's just something that you want to be mindful of and you want to buy the right equipment if you have a cargo van or any type of vehicle you want to have the right equipment um cargo vans for instance you want to have the straps that you need so things aren't moving and shifting about if you are for instance a medical care courier you want to make sure you have the correct equipment to carry the specimen to and from its destinations you also want to have a website these are things, this is something that's important so that these companies can see that you are a legitimate company and they can take a look at you and um, view you as someone that they would like to do work with and they see, you know, what you, some of the things that you've done before. You also want to have your resume readily available because these are some of the things that they want to see your past experience as well to make sure that you are a good fit for them. Another thing is you want to know how you're going to market your courier service. 
Um, what I mean by that is, are you going to do it word of mouth? Are you going to use social media? How you're going to market your services? You can find some things on um, websites like websites, sorry, like Indeed, ZipRecruiter, things like that. Or you can just go and find your contracts through Google, or you can find government contracts. Lastly, you want to make sure that you save your receipts and keep track of your mileage for tax purposes because you are an independent contractor and companies are going to pay you are not going to pay you for these things since you aren't an employee. So these are the things that you want to keep in mind if you want to start your own business. Now, some of these things apply if you also want to be an independent contractor, but there are less requirements when it comes to independent contractors well it's like a give and take because you kind of get to set your own rules when you have your own company but it's a little different when you are a courier independent contractor doing it as a side gig so now if you're starting off as a side hustle you'll need like i said a a, a little less i say because you don't need to have your business name. You can get a business name if you want to. If you see that in the long run, you're going to be wanting to start your career business, you can do that. But that's not something that's necessary. You're going to deliver as a sole proprietor or under your own name. Um, you need an unexpired license. So that's going to be on both sides. You need to be prepared to take a to take and pass a drug test and or background check in some cases depending on the particular company so if you do if you think you won't pass um a drug test then maybe this isn't for you <laughs> just keeping that in mind not saying anything is against it but if you think that that's going to hinder you then I mean, there's things that you can do to um, still pass it, but that's for another video. If you want me, <laughs> if you want me to talk about that in another video, I will. <laughs> I will. <sighs> Definitely will. <laughs> so, um, you'll need insurance. With this, you can have liability insurance. Um, another thing is you still want to choose the right vehicle. Some um, courier services even let you use scooters and bikes. So that's something. If you don't have a vehicle, you can use either a scooter or a bike. A lot of people don't talk about that, but you can. You still want to have the right equipment, and you want to pick the right apps and websites for you. I know you may have heard, and you might not have um, seen the video, but I talk about roading. But there's other apps and websites like Freight and Drop Off. And it's saying you want to... Be sure to save your receipts and keep track of your mileage for tax purposes. But that is all of the information as of now that I'm going to provide. I don't want to make this video too long. If you have something that you think is important, make sure that you drop that below. Um, and again, make sure you subscribe to this video and like it. I'm going to be doing more videos, so tell me what you would like to hear. Tell me what you want me to talk about, review, whatever you guys want, I'm here to do. So just keep that in mind. But until next time, thank you for tuning into my video.